We recently visited Bosch in Germany to test the new Bosch Performance CX Generation 5. So check out that review. And during our stay, we checked out the Bosch ABS systems, the new profiles. Up until now, they had, had a standard profile and a cargo profile. These are profiles made for improved safety. The two new profiles are made more for aggressive trail riding or even racing. ABS Trail Pro, it uh, has of course got the anti-lock function on the front wheel, but it's also got a less intrusive version of the rear wheel lift that is also found on the standard profiles. So it will allow quite a bit of tipping forward, having the rear wheel leaving the ground. The race version, it hasn't got this rear wheel lift mitigation function. If you want to go over the bars, sure, go ahead. But it has, of course, got this anti-lock function. We tested the system in the Trail Pro version and I quite liked it. If we grabbed a handful of front brake, we could feel the system engaging, locking up, releasing the front wheel. And uh, it felt quite effective. We were riding gravel and um, just braking as hard as we could, and it felt very effective. We met one of the Bosch technicians and we did an interview with him. It was like a spur of the moment thing, so unfortunately we didn't have our mics ready. So in the following interview, the sound might not be all that great, but um, hopefully for anyone that's above, above average interested in uh, ABS and new bike technology, it will be an interesting interview. We are doing a few tests of the system, leaning forwards, leaning backwards, and the technician is commenting on how the system works during our test. Before we start, I just want to say that I really like the ABS Trail Pro function. It seems uh, something I would use when uh, riding trails on my local trails. It's basically the same technology, so pumpless, one channel ABS system for the front wheel, so yeah. we don't have the rear wheel, um, but we changed valves to achieve um, faster opening times for riding faster on changing riding surfaces to adapt brake pressure. And we have also a smaller accumulator size that also the accumulator is faster um, uh, getting empty and get filled again yeah. because we are working um, the system is working with the rider together uh, yeah, in one brake session so you can brake uh, fluid is taken out of the system you feel it uh, slightly in the lever that it travels uh, and then when you release the lever again it gets just um, emptied and you have full brake uh, brake fluid again yeah so the way it's designed now if I go really fast, yeah. engage the ABS, and I full panic mode, just squeeze as hard I, as I can, you, the bladder or reservoir in yeah, there, to, yeah. it's big enough to have the ABS system functioning even if you exactly. break for yeah. 20 meters. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it also depends every time uh, where you're riding on. Like when it's really muddy, slippery, and the grip level is really low, yeah. it gets filled faster yeah. when you apply more. But this is really great because you can work with the ABS system together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can. It will only do what you put into the brake. It will react accordingly. Yeah. And this. So, some. Also, Stefan Schlie says the pedal. Uh, is uh, glued to the to the motor and the feet, mm -hmm. and here can we say that the that the brake lever is really glued to the finger yeah. and stays there, and you have a nice control of the of, of the brake session at all. Yeah. Yeah. And as soon as you slightly lift up the lever, then uh, that drains the bladder. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. So uh, just to give you also a number, yeah. so what we changed compared to the standard ABS version um, is also um, with the faster um, valve activations we get a 200% faster um, uh, brake adaption. So um, yeah, it's just uh, reacting faster. When you lock out. Exactly, yeah. yeah. 
and uh, also perhaps when it uh, releases again. Or, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's working faster to meet those requirements of sport of writing style yeah. when, you, when you're fast on trades in general. And servicing, bleeding the, these brakes. If I just want to push mm -hmm. through some oil in the caliper just to get a yeah. little bit of air through the... Yeah, it's just a normal bleeding process yeah. of Magura. It's nothing special. And this makes it really easy. So it's basically also to, to install it or serve it, uh, you have here the quick, uh, quick coupling system. So yep. it's just uh, plug and play uh, the brake hose into the ABS unit yep. and then it's uh, already um, yeah, without air income uh, pre bleeded. Yeah. yeah, so it's when you pull the cable out, it automatically seals the cable. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like a uh, garden hose from yeah. the end. So when, when, when you damage to something, it's really easy to exchange. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so when you're not braking, you're basically bypassing the whole uh, unit. Yeah, so, so uh, you can also turn the ABS off, mm. then it's just a normal brake. Yeah. 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 So in general we have two modes. So you are in trail pro mode, yeah. so you have also certain kind of lift up mitigation. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this helps only when you're on, on a high friction surface, like when the asphalt is really dry, okay. if you're over braking and your rear wheel is coming up, then there's a point where the, where the system de detects this and yeah. keeps you or keeps your rear wheel uh, bounce again on the ground. To keep okay, so it will release the front brake. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But do you know how high about, above the ground the rear wheel has to be? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it depends on timing. Yeah? Okay. So when you're really fast, you're getting also higher, but yeah. when you're low, it also can be lower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but there's a point where the system detects this with yeah. the sensor disc, so when the reel is going like this yeah. and you have the speed difference front and rear wheel and okay. the system yeah because this. the wheel will naturally spin faster if exactly or, or slower okay or yeah. Can yeah, perhaps it locks off yeah, yeah. Uh, then you have also the, the race mode yeah. where this function is not available so yeah. there you only have the wheel slip control so based on your front slip so when you just over apply your brake maybe on the gravel and your front wheel is locking and sliding then there's a point where the system also takes brake pressure out of the system and um, yeah, adapts to the riding surface to keep your front wheel turning again. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so these, these, these are the basic functions, so lift up mitigation and wheel slip control. Mm -hmm. And this function or features are also in the other ABS products, so the standard ABS. Yeah. So what is the big difference now here is that the front wheel locks more compared to the standard okay. version. Yeah. Yeah. So when you do like a, Especially also in the trail pro mode when you do like uh, hitting the gravel with 25 kbh, mm. uh, making the front wheel really light. So going back yeah. with your with the back, uh, going back and then pulling just the front brake, you yeah. see that the front wheel starts to lock because you you apply too much mm. uh, in the situation. Then the system takes pressure out, the front wheel is turning again, yeah. but then it's blocking again. So yeah. it's kind of uh, blocking, turning, blocking. Yeah. And this threshold gets deeper the longer the brake session, uh, session lasts. Okay, so it will keep the it will lock the wheel for longer as the brake session progresses. It's also longer, yeah. and there's a point where the front wheel also blocks. Yeah, so you're pretty uh, fast when you go like this and hitting the gravel with 25 kph. Yeah. You have really uh, really short braking distance, but you're not sliding away like yeah. like when crashing. Exactly. Yeah. So at the end of the braking session, it gets just deeper. And, yeah. and you see this here. So you have just this here, you see it? A small blocking, small blocking, gets more and gets deeper there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then you stop. Sliding out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but the, the normal riding is, or braking session is maybe between here and here. Yeah. 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 You just so break really for a corner. Uh, exactly. Yeah. But if I try. Weighing the front wheel, it should be the same behavior. Uh, again, what? If I try to now, I'll lean backwards. But if I lean forwards, exactly. Then, when you lean forwards, you have also a lot of braking pressure and building up more friction. Yeah, yeah. can also be that the uh, rear wheel is coming also a bit up. Yeah. But when you have flip, then the system takes this. Yeah. Uh, I'll try that one. Yep. One spin. Yeah. When you see. Maximum braking power at the end because the rear is coming up, yeah. and 
I would say when you're trying this with in the off mode, mm. do it's really barely hard to outbreak the ABS in this situation yeah. because it's so much on the on the limit the braking, but still stable. Yeah. Nice. Um, about the stopping function. Yeah. The rear wheel lifted now. Yeah. But it was nowhere near high enough for the motor. No, 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 to no. It was. It was. So there is. Of course, there is a is a conflict. Um, how we set this up, but for because this product is based for high potential mountain bikes, yeah. and also the skill level is kind of certain skill level, and we say okay, the rider the rider is capable of managing those small stoppies. Yeah. Yeah, you, so this is this is this is normal when you do sport mountain biking. Yeah. So we say okay, this is um, this is good. In the other ABS products, uh, like the touring mode, there is the rear wheel is not coming up yeah. at all. So it's just like smooth braking, but braking distance gets longer because your bike is faster, but it's also more stable. Yeah. Uh, can this uh, stop wheel function be used as sort of a stop wheel assistant? If I can't do stop wheels, yeah. if I just squeeze a handful of front brake, <laughs> will yeah. it send me over the bars or will it make me do a stop wheel? <laughs> uh, so, so we don't have a certain stop wheel function no. <laughs> to give you this ability. <laughs> Maybe in future yeah, might be. Oh, I have to learn it then. <laughs> but it's just a prevention yeah. of flipping the bike. You know? We're using a lot of sensors in the motor. Yeah. Um, I specifically noticed you have a sensor somewhere up here in the yeah. in the yeah. shots of that sensor. <laughs> this is this is really um, for the ABS. It's really great that it's uh, such deep integrated in the, in the smart system. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot of uh, sensors and data exchange. Um, Especially display, uh, drive unit, those sensors and ABS units is working together all the time. And this makes the function pretty strong and natural feeling. And this, is, this is really great. And uh, when, when you would have this system, maybe in any other system, it, it would look completely different. There are, might be sensors necessary to provide such a function, but then you have to attach there, sensor there, there, there. Then it looks uh, not that great integrated. The ABS is, uh, so to say, the topic we brought into Sirius and also into the market, um, starting from Volia 23. And now we just enhance with this version for uh, yeah higher sportive user view. Yeah. Have you thought, considered? Some sort of ESP system for the rear wheels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. we got the sensor. Yeah, it's really hard um, yeah. to to establish kind of uh, what car established because um, yeah, you, maybe for the bike you need some some motor in the front wheel <laughs> to keep the bike uh, stable again well, once it really sli slides away. Um, but of course, we have also looked into this, uh, like um, yeah. I think. Uh, anti-slip yeah rather anti than ESP yeah. yeah yeah exactly so um, we have I think we are pretty pretty good in the in so how the motor behaves with the power you gave to the motor so it's really great with the EMTB motors and you have not so much uh, spin but honestly speaking when you are in race mode it's just like this this extended boost is really boosting yeah. and um, Therefore, the kind of function would be, would be, um, I think, beneficial. Yeah. But we're having a look into this, but uh, having not find the right solution at the moment. Uh, for ESP, like you say, yeah. I guess you would need a hub motor front or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but so it's really hard. Uh, it's 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 a conflict because we want to, that the bike is uh, a bike. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I have no need to make it a car. Yeah, yeah. It's but so that would solve the high speed wobble, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks. We'll <laughs> do some more. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.